you ever thought about starting your own podcast? We've got the information for you right here. And Dave's going to tell you about it. Absolutely, guys. We use this awesome application called Anchor FM. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First off, it's free. And who doesn't like free? Yeah, free is huge. That's what got us involved with it. Second of all, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. So you don't need all those fancy gadgets. You can have them if you want them, but not absolutely necessary. Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many other platforms. Which is great. More people can hear us. Who doesn't want more people to hear us? (laughs) I mean, I like to be heard. I like to talk. Another great thing is you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Like zero people could listen to you and you could still possibly make some money. That's amazing. How does that even happen? Uh, It's everything you need right here to make a podcast in one place. It's a one-stop shop and it's all you need. Anchor FM. Yeah, so you guys, if you want to start this podcast, go to anchorfm.com to get started. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Apogee Podcast. I'm your host, David Carter, and we are live here at Crash Fitness for the Crescendo Team event. We are going to be doing a live podcast straight from the gym with clips of different athletes who are coming up from all different divisions, anywhere from the novice to intermediate to elite. We'll be combining all these little clips of little interviews that we're doing, and we are going to make one big episode out of it. So we're excited for the day. And let's do this. We've got elite male athlete and apogee athlete, Jackson Drohan. What's up, guys? Dude, it's about time you got on this podcast. Finally, dude. Are we getting something scheduled for the summer? Of course. Me, you, and Zach, man. That's right. Yeah, me and Jack, Jackson and Zach and Kevin are going to have a conversation about these two young guys growing up in a gym and just kind of having CrossFit as their sport growing up rather than basketball, baseball, or soccer like a lot of us. So I'm looking forward to that conversation. Me too, man. Me too. Dude, so tell us a little bit about your team today. Who's on it? We got me, Mike McDonald, Paulo Pacini, and Steven Christofides. Is that how you say Christofides? Christofides, Christofides. He's going to hate me for that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hate me for that one. What event are you looking forward to most? The first, man. I what, love the What's lift. in it? What's in that first event? All right, we got five minutes of max muscle-ups into seven minutes to find a one rep max snatch. Me and Mike are snatching. Steven and Paulo are doing clean and jerks. We're both going to PR. I know it's going to happen. Mike's going to hit 275, and I'm going to snatch 305. Calling it now. What's your What's your current one rep max for snatch right now? 300. 300. How much do you weigh? 195. Dang. <laughs> All right, you heard it here on the Apogee Podcast. Anything you want to say to the other athletes? I want everybody to stay safe and healthy and have a good time, man. That's what we're here to do. All right, man. Thanks for coming on. Oh, yeah, man. Paulo Pacini. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, man. Are you excited for today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very excited. Um, It's been a hot minute, man, since I've competed. Maybe before COVID, I guess. What was the last event you did? Uh... It was a local one. I, I want to say the AA YMCA one. Okay. Two years ago. Yeah. So it's been a hot minute. All right, sweet man. So out of all these events, which one are you looking forward to most? Uh, I think the uh, the cleaning jerk after the muscle up is going to be a fun one. Um, what are you yeah. going to try to hit? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to shoot for a 305. I'm um, still coming off like a little uh, injury on my leg. Haven't been able to squat. But today I feel fine, so I might catch it on one at the bottom. Might go a little bit heavier. But the goal is hit a 305 right after the muscle ups. We'll see. All right, sweet, man. So I saw in your Instagram story you had a little cut the past couple of weeks. How was that? Well, so Wait me, cut. Yeah, uh, my, my wife, my daughter, we all went to Disney. And you know how it is. For yeah, breakfast, man. you eat pizza, donuts. <laughs> and, you know, you're at Disney. You know, you got you to gotta do that kind of stuff. So I came back uh, right at 197, 197 and a half back in March. Um, but Have you I'm, ever been 197 before? <laughs> no, that's the dad bod. <laughs> um, but it's just too heavy for me, you know, uh, yeah. compete at that way. So I actually text you a couple times uh, showing my weight loss. So today I woke up at 186. Feel good. We'll that's see. All right, man. Ready to compete. Let's go. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on, and good luck, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right, brother.
All right, everybody, I've got another athlete here joining us today at Crescendo. We've got Kristen Mosley. Hey. What's going on? <laughs> Having fun. Having fun. <laughs> did you compete yet today? Yes, I did the uh, max lift workout. How'd that go for you? It went well. I was able to hit my one rep max, so fantastic, I was happy. Fantastic, fantastic. So what gym do you work out at? Crash. How long have you been working out at Crash? Um, official member for two and a half years. All right, all right. So what's your favorite part about working out at Crash? Um, the atmosphere. Um, I have a ton of friends that go here. The programming is awesome. JR is an amazing coach. Uh, the facility, I mean, it speaks yeah. for itself. The facility is beautiful. Did you get a chance to listen to JR's podcast? I did. All right, awesome. Yeah, it was really, yeah. really good. Awesome, awesome. All right, um, which division did you say you were competing in today? Intermediate. All right, so which, out of all the events, maybe you already did two of them, uh, which one are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to day two, um, the overhead squat, toast of our workout, and the lunge relay. All right, fantastic. Well, we'll be looking out for you. Thanks. All right, thanks for coming on. <laughs> no problem. All right. <laughs> Athlete Sergio Brasino. Sorry, I, I slaughtered that. Sergio <laughs> Brasino. Brasino. Whatever, man. All these guys <laughs> is from Belize. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> That's all right. You're the closest one besides. Yeah, man. What's up? It's nice to have you back on the podcast, episode two. Oh, man. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. I'm good, good to be back, though. Yeah, dude. So you're not competing today. You're judging. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let me tell you, judging is so so hard, especially judging the like women's weight, yeah. I'm not, I'm not used to calculating women's barbell and their weight, so it's kind of like throwing me off. But if like a 45, I'm thinking, oh, it's 135. But like, no, it's a women's barbell, it's 125. So I'm like, yeah, dude. I'm that like, is oh. hard, bro. I know. <laughs> Especially when they're going so quick, I'm like calculating, and I'm like, oh man. I'm interested to see what your whoop score is at the end of the day. Dude, I think I'm about to be like a 20. I'm not, I'm barely working out. Yeah, your heart's racing. Yeah. I get it, man. I get it. So how's training going? going okay man been trying to get get it in when i can really now but um like i said i started a new job being a firefighter now oh awesome yeah awesome. like i started this new week getting in getting training in um elite for an academy in august so all right how long is the academy for two months wow yeah awesome. where is it columbia columbia is South Carolina. all right yeah so so I is mean, there like you guys stay at the training facility or do you have to find housing no, I train. They have like, so, dude, it's like a huge campus, like a whole academy. So I stay at the facility. They have like bunk beds and stuff like that. I'll have just kind of like call it, I guess yeah. you can say. <laughs> I'll have like my own dorm and stuff like that. So. Gotta love it. Yeah. Minus the parties or well, firefighters. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of party in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be pretty focused. So I'm not. So how was that fitness test to get into the academy? Dude, it was. It was so easy. <laughs> I ain't gonna like not to be cocky, but like for stuff that we do, if you if you're in decent shape, it's not difficult. Uh huh. Like you you have to be able to run a mile and a half. You have 20 minutes to run a mile and a half. Yeah. That's, oh my goodness. Like and then you can't be afraid of heights, and you can't be uh, afraid of being like in tight spaces. Sure. So. So are you gonna try to bring some CrossFit into the fire station? Dude, yeah, I'm trying to whip these firefighters to shake. Cause awesome, man. We got some guys in the, like when I took the PT test, and there was guys who were like, dude, you're a firefighter and you can't run a mile without dying, stopping. But I, I finished that mile and a half like a 928. There was one guy, and I think he was only like a year older than me, he took him like 15 minutes, 16 oh my minutes. It was so like. Well, y'all are gonna be the most in shape fire station in about a year, so yeah, man, I good. just I just got into a new facility, it's a new facility in by Pelham Road, and by, by four team, and they have like a nice oh, yeah. CrossFit gym set up, yeah. and those the guys in there they're pretty they're pretty into CrossFit there, all so right, sweet, man. I'm trying to get them back. All in right, so out of all these events, which one are you most looking forward to watching? Uh, this one with the muscle ups and the heavy weight, and then the last one. It's kind of like the relay, the biker rower and the skier it's like okay. the 40 30 and 20. yeah that one will be a race for sure so if you yeah. were competing which one would you want to do uh this one the first one with the muscle ups and lifting and then the last one okay those are my actually no no, no i'll take that back i'll take the rope climb lunge and the handstand walk All it's right. kind of like an individual relay so like one person goes you do five Row climbs at four, three, and two. So. Good deal. So, if you're watching a team, which which team are you watching for to win the whole thing? Oh, uh, 
of course, gotta go with my boy, the Apogees boys, yeah. Jackson. I'm so excited to see him right now. I swear, good man. I'm ready to see him snatch. So he's he's so hyped for that. Yeah. I think he's drank probably three bangs already this morning. I know he's probably already <laughs> through stuff already. I'm All right, man. It. Well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. All brother. right, brother. Peace. Yeah. I've got athlete Steven Christophides here, and then we got Paulo back on. He likes the mic so much. Yeah, man. This What's up, cool. dudes? What's happening? You guys just got done competing. How'd that event go? It was good. It was good. Paulo uh, said his back hurts from carrying me through that workout, but we did all right. Good. What uh, was the workout? Uh, you begin with the max effort muscle ups in five minutes, and then you have seven minutes to establish uh, your one rep max cleaning jerk, and the other two guys, uh, they get seven minutes to establish one rep max snatch. All right, good deal. Did you guys get what you wanted on those one reps? Yeah, I mean, we started out working our way up to it pretty good, and then uh, Paulo needed more weight, so we took some from the guy next to us, but he was quick to take it back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that guy was taking weight from you guys, too. Yeah, was he? Yeah, y'all were oh, now it's going even. back and forth. So his, yeah. his jerk doesn't count, so he only hit like 135, really, then. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So, uh, Steven, what are you looking forward to the rest of the day? I, I guess the whole weekend. You got Which event do you want? Well, uh, for events, probably that uh, triathlon one where you got the bike, the row, and the ski. Because I'm only a buck sixty-five soaking wet, so that's a little easier for me. But I'm looking forward to competing with these great guys. Um, there's a good group of people out here. JR did a phenomenal job putting on this competition. Very well organized. This is a well-oiled machine right here. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Paul, you got anything else you want to say? Uh, just on that first event, um, uh, our boys Jackson and Mike, Mike with a huge uh, 275 snatch. He's really proud of him. My boy Steve also hit a PR, man, at the end of the workout. Proud of these guys. Um, you know, that, 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 that's good. That's good. I'm happy. Uh, I did catch that 305, I, like I was telling you. The bottom of my squad, which I haven't done in probably two months, didn't feel so good, but I'm, I'm glad I, I still hit it. So we'll see. Let's see. It looked good. So, All right, boys. We'll wrap it up. All right. All right. Thank you for having us. All right, man. Thanks. All right, guys, we're back on the podcast. We've got Reagan Wilson. What's up, girl? Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Are you having fun today? I am having a lot of fun. All right. So, Reagan, a couple questions for you. What gym do you work out at? I work out at CrossFit Greer. CrossFit Greer. Woo-hoo. I kind of, kind of uh, partial to that place myself. Yeah. <laughs> that 3.30 life. Yeah, man. So, uh, how long have you been CrossFitting? Man, um, I think three years now. Okay, cool. Yeah. If you had to pick a favorite movement, what would it be? Ooh, I think cleaning's my favorite movement. Cleaning, cleaning your house or? No, like cleaning the lift. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so you're competing today, yeah? Yes, that is All correct. All right, which division are you in? I am in novice division. I'm the novice. All right, cool. Or novice, oops. <laughs> Who, uh, what girls are you competing with? So I'm competing with Steph. Ashley and Nikki. They all go to Greer too. Okay, great. What's your team name? A League of Our Own. <laughs> I think of that one. All right, all right, cool. Um, if you had one event that you're looking forward to this weekend, what would it be? Oh, man. Um, probably the one I already did, the first one. Well, I mean, what was that? It was the uh, pull ups in five minutes, and then I got to clean and jerk, so got to do my favorite movement. All right, what'd you so. clean and jerk? Um, I think I got 140. Hey, yeah, that's awesome. That's nice work. <laughs> All right, so somebody's been teaching you how to lift, huh? Yeah. Who would that be? <laughs> Jackson. Jackson Drohan. What a cutie. He is. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming on the show. Good Thank luck you. the rest of the weekend, okay? Thank you so much. All right, see ya. Athlete Brandon O'Connell. Bro, what's going on? What's up, guys? What's up? Not much, man. So spectating today yeah yeah man spectating uh know a lot of people out here in all the divisions man it's a awesome. great call awesome what gym are you at right now i'm at crossfit fountain Inn. awesome dude so out of all these events which one do you think you would be the bomb at uh probably none of them <laughs> um, um i don't know man the the row ski and a bike look pretty good right now because that's a lot of wall balls at 30 and all these other ones, man. There's some uh, there's some strong guys here today. Yeah, absolutely. So how long have you been CrossFitting? Um, I started CrossFit in 2014 after uh, I got done with MMA. I've been coaching for that for the last seven years, competing for on and off the last three. Um, coaching 
a lot of athletes for like the last five. So were you getting into CrossFit to train for MMA or was so that? So I kind of, in like 2010 or 11, they made us do that just to get ready for fights. Okay. And it just kind of stuck. And I, I knew the owner at the time of a gym after I had got done and he was like, hey, you just want to come and work out. And I just kind of stayed and never left. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So you're currently coaching. Uh, is it true that you do nutrition coaching as well? or That is not me. So I was okay. with uh, Hannah Pruitt for, oh, okay, uh, for about three and a half, four years. Um, she, was the, she was the dietitian. She was the, she was the legend around here. Got it. Got it. All right, man. Well, um, where can people find you on the social medias? Uh, you find me on Coach Catch Kilos 1988. Uh, check me out on CrossFit Fountain Inn. I'm always tagging these guys. Um, always tagging local comp, and yeah, man. Love it. What's the next competition you're going to do? Um, I'll be at Freedom Games, and after that I'll be at the Famously Hot Showdown for Male Elite, and then I've got a qualifier for Madrid Championship. So. Oh, awesome. For a team or? Just uh, individual. All right, so. all right, all right. Well, y'all look out for Brandon O'Connell this hey, summer. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a good day. Enjoy these athletes. Uh, make sure you're getting after it, all right? All right, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, we are back here on the podcast. We got Mr. SVL himself in the house. What's up, dude? What's up, David? Good to see you again, man. You're looking fit right now. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. You know know how it is. I see those Instagram videos at 5.15 in the morning. You getting it? (laughs) Right. (laughs) Well, that's me kind of like coaching, not so much working out. 5.15 is a little early for me, brother. Agreed. But what's going on, dude? Dude, so uh, we are one week out from Fittest the Upstate. Can you so believe it? I, I feel like oh we've been talking about gosh. it and talking about it, and now it's finally we're, here. We've been planning this thing for nine months, and it's at a spot right now where I'm so unbelievably excited. The partnerships we have, we just confirmed our 23rd vendor. Wow. So the Vendor Village is the biggest it's ever been in history. We've got the most money we've ever given away in history, dude. I'm most excited probably just for this community to come together. You know, man, 2020 was hard for all of us. And so just today to see our friends here at Crash Crescendo, how awesome this is and what JR puts on. And then next week to get together again, man. So some fun weeks of competing. I know. We're getting spoiled two weeks in a row. (laughs) Man, we really are. And then summer's going to happen. We're all going to be like, wait, we need to do this again. Right. Yeah, absolutely agree. So can you talk a little bit about the biggest event that happened with uh, Fitness of the Upstate, CrossFit coming on board? Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that's been in the works for nine months, and that's been like one of the toughest but probably most rewarding things we've done so far. So I started working with CrossFit back in September. Yeah. Um, Just working with David Wood, Adrian Bozeman, um, kind of working up the ladder, just explaining to them the vision we have at Fitness. You know, we want to empower our athletes and showcase them, but we don't want to keep it here just in the Upstate. Sure. We want to take over the Southeast. Um, and so talked with them about it and they changed some directions. So Adrian Bozeman went to be full-time game staff and David Wood went to be more of a um, kind of corporate sponsorship for CrossFit. And so next thing you know, I'm on an email thread with Dave Castro and Eric Rosa. Get out of here. Dude, I'm, I'm, fan, <laughs> I'm fangirling so hard. I'm like, Annie, oh my God, Annie, oh my God, that's my wife. Like, you got to look at this. And they were great, man. They're like, hey, we're going to direct you to our buddy Johnny Mack. Um, he's out of Florida, so Johnny Macklin. He basically ran all the Southeast Regionals. He helped run the CrossFit Games. So he's coming up. Um, and then we just started talking about, like, hey, what would it look like to have CrossFit support us? Yeah. And so we got the contract two weeks ago. So for 2022, we'll be the only official registered licensed CrossFit event in the entire state. That's man. huge, man. Congratulations. Dude. That's awesome. Dude, it'll be great, man. And they're just going to give us some exposure on on, um, on CrossFit main site. And then they're going to be bringing people in to help us as it grows. Kind of be like, hey. Here's some vendors we can help with, just simple things too, like, hey, as your event grows, your floor plan needs to to grow. So I'm really thankful for their support. When they said, hey, we're flying up, we're to come be there for you, that was, yeah, that was huge. It's huge. I love the direction that CrossFit's going right now with Eric Rosa at the forefront, you know? I really feel like things are turning around. Yeah, I think, and so that was part of the conversation we had, being affiliate owners and Uh Fitness the Update. Shoot, we're all affiliate owners, man. We've got so many affiliate owners in here, 42 gyms are represented. Um, and I said, hey, I think this would be great for CrossFit to get back to grassroots. And they 100% agreed. They said, you know what? We need to do more of that. And I think you, you see that under new leadership. Um, Rosa and especially some other staff, like even look at Jen Green, right? She's in the community working with affiliate owners, doing things to bring us together. I love it. I love it. All right, so we're here at Crash. What event are you most looking forward to seeing? So, man, I love JR's mind. JR, I think, is one of the best programmers, hands down, to the upstate. So he did this waterfall workout. 
So I've got a bunch of athletes at CrossFit Simpsonville that have tried it, and they were murdered, <laughs> murdered after it. And they're like, dude, there's no way we're going to finish this. Yeah. And so I'm just excited for people to do a full send. For I think the cap is like 10 minutes, 8 minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, don't quote me. I'm not sure. I want to see a full send for everyone for that Absolutely. time, man, because that's what it's going to come down to. Did you see your boy Mike snatch 275? Well, I tell you what, my boy Mike, man, Mike McDonald, shout out. I love that guy. So I've been working with Mike now for seven, eight months, man. I was super proud of Mike from quarterfinals. He finished 350th in North America. Huge. So next awesome. year, Mike's gunning for semifinals. All right, man. So one more time, I know you've been on our podcast before, but where can people find you on the SoCal Meds? Oh, yeah, yeah. So social the, media. On the social media. I like that, <laughs> man. You can uh, check me out on my personal Instagram, uh, Gordon Like, real simple. Just type that in. You can follow our business pages, CrossFit Simpsonville, and of course, follow Fitness the Upstate. If you're in the area next week, come check us out May 22nd, 23rd at CrossFit Potentia. We're taking the top, literally, the top athletes in the upstate. We're putting them together head-to-head. We're going to find out who's the best of the best. Love it, man. All right, thanks for dropping in. Yeah, buddy. All right, brother. Thanks. Daniel Sterling in the house. What's up, bro? Hey, man. How's it going? Good, man. Great to see you back in the upstate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just visiting, you know. Yeah, so you're in Columbia right now? Charleston. Charleston. All right. Yeah. So what's she doing down there? Uh, just uh, I'm working at a gym called CrossFit Wando Foundation okay. Fit CrossFit Wando. Um, just working there and grinding and you know, taking it day at a time. Awesome, dude. Yeah. So what competitions are you doing this summer? Uh, the only thing I have lined up is Freedom Games um, at CrossFit Greenwood. I'm okay. doing it with a buddy of mine, Bobby. All right, awesome, okay. awesome. Okay. So originally from Greenville, correct? Yep. Yep. All sure. right. So what high school did you go to? Uh, I went to. Uh, Wade Hampton. So Wade I had blanked for a second there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Yeah. All right, so being here at Crash, what event are you looking forward to uh, watching? It's already happened, um, and I'm, I'm just watching for today, but uh, the Muscle Up muscle up Olympic Lift workout was the was the fun one. I think that's what everybody wanted to see. Um, yeah, man. You know, throwing around the big weights and everything. Absolutely. So if you had to pick one movement that's your movement in CrossFit, what would it be? Oh, crap. I have no idea. I know the movements I hate, but... Uh, but I, I, I really like all of them. I really don't hate any of them either. But. All right, and where did you get your start at in CrossFit? Uh, so my cousin, um, Taylor Sterling, was a coach um, like way back when CrossFit started. So he would come up to like you know family gatherings and be doing all this weird stuff like burpees and air squats. And I was yeah. probably like six years old. So I, I kind of was slowly introduced to it then. Okay. And then uh, probably my junior year of high school, um, I, I was a little bit on the heavier side, sure. and you know, wanted to look good without my shirt on for all yeah, the girls yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the only like type of fitness that I've ever been introduced to is this this CrossFit thing sure. that my cousin uh, had introduced me to. So, so I, you know, called up Brandon Chapin, okay. who I knew because I had met him a couple times, and I was like, hey, I was like, I'm I'm coming. So, you know, we worked something out. Zero re- reaction then. Yep, yep. Started right. a reaction. Cool, yep. man. At what point did you know that you wanted to go full send into CrossFit? Uh, day one, as soon as I got my ass whooped by everybody else, I was, yeah. like, I was like, never again. <laughs> I hear you, I so hear I you. So I just kind of full steam from there. All right, man. So how much do you frequent the upstate? Do you come back and visit quite often? or? Yeah, I try and come back when I can because my, my folks still live here. And uh, so you know, my brother and sister are still in school, everything like that. So I try and try and get here whenever I can, you know, steal some weekends and whatnot. Awesome. Free living, free food. All so. right, man. Well, we're looking forward to continuing watching you grow in, in the sport and Good luck in 21, and hopefully in 22 we'll be doing big things, yeah? I, 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 that is the hope, yeah, for all sure. All right, brother. Sure. Take it easy, all right? Yeah, man. All nice right. talking to you. Yep. Okay. All right, y'all. We're back on the podcast. We've got Spectator, Becca Wilkinson. What's up? What's up? What's happening? Not much, man. What do you think about the competition so far? Man, it is awesome. It's a great setup they have here. I've actually never been to Crash before, so. It's a beautiful gym. Super impressive. Yep. The energy is great. It's awesome. Does it give you the itch to get out there? Oh, yeah. As soon as I walked in, I was like, man, yeah. I just want to get out of there. So Becca will be competing next week in the elite division for females uh, at Fitness of the Upstate. Yeah. Getting up, yes. pumped up for that? I am. I'm getting very excited. Awesome. Um, so, Becca, how long have you been crossfitting? I have been crossfitting for about three and a half years. But seriously, I would say for two. All right. And where's your home gym at? Beast Mode Powdersville. Awesome. So is that where you started out at, or is that just where you're at now? That is where I started out at. I started doing the classes there a couple days a week, and then um, 
actually showed up to a, the Anderson throwdown at the Y after I'd done CrossFit for like a week. And uh, one of the girls got hurt, and they asked me to jump in, and I did. Nice. And then I was I was hooked after that. So. Sweet, sweet. So if I'm not wrong, you're a coach over there, correct? I am, yes. Awesome. So um, what's your favorite part about coaching? That's a great question. Um, I love just seeing people who don't think that they can do half the things or they look at CrossFit and, and it's super intimidating to them and scary. And then they come into a class, you know, obviously scared and nervous. And then yeah. they do things they never thought that they could do. And then over months and weeks, they just grow and just to see them evolve and, and improve. It's awesome. Yeah, you see people evolve physically and also mentally. Their confidence just skyrockets as their body gets stronger, which is super cool to see. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so we're at the crash crescendo right now. If you were watching one team, what team are you watching out there? Oh, man. Of course, Team Apogee. Come on. <laughs> the Apogee always, team. Always, always. All right, awesome. And if you had to uh, jump into an event, which event? You probably don't have them off the top of your head, do you? I know. Give me a lowdown on some All of them. All right, so we've got wall balls and GHDs going on right now. Earlier, we had ring muscle-ups right into a one rep max snatch or clean and jerk. Okay. Um, we have a race basically with the rower I think it's the maybe the echo the rower and either the runner or the biker I can't remember uh -huh. um, I think that's it for today I, I don't remember what tomorrow okay are. so I would probably say as a whole maybe the the sprint workout yeah um, I love a one rep max clean and jerk or snatch though but I hate muscle ups okay. but I'll take the one rep <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, so where can people find you on the social medias? Uh, social media on Instagram. I'm on there as Becca Wilkinson Fit underscore. All right, perfect. Well, thanks for coming on and stopping by. Thank you, thank you. All right, bye. Hello. What's up, Kara? I'm not a whole lot, just hanging out, enjoying watching everybody compete. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a minute since you've been on the podcast. It has been a minute. What episode were you? Do you remember off the top of your head? I want to say four or five. You were you were right up there at the beginning. Single digits. Yeah. OG. Awesome. 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 <laughs> so what's been going on? Uh, school mostly. Um, I'm no longer working at the hospital. Congratulations. Thank you. It feels great. Um, coaching a lot of CrossFit, learning a lot from school, and doing a lot of CrossFit. Awesome. Awesome. So next weekend we've got Fitness of the Upstate. Yes, we do. Talk a little bit about that, your training forward and everything. Yeah. So Fitness of the Upstate um, is weighing on my mind heavily, but it's been good. So I'm really excited um, to really put everything to the test. So uh, I've been working a lot on my engine and a lot on gymnastics. Yes. So uh, there's one strength workout that I'm super stoked for. So now I'm just trying to take that mindset of confidence and excitement and put that towards everything else. Yeah, I love it. I love what you and your coach are doing, Justin. Justin Bell. Justin Bell, shout out. Shout out, unorthodox. All right, um, so if you were to jump in on a workout here, which one would you want to jump in on? Honestly, I've only seen two of the three workouts today. Um, the second one, the GHDs and wall balls, I'm going to say no thank you. So I would have to pick this one. It's uh, biker and skier and rowing. So Perfect, perfect. All right, where can people find you on the social medias? Um, my personal one is at Kara Celeste, and my nutrition is at Built Not Bought Nutrition. All right, y'all, you heard it here. Go follow her. Thanks. Good luck next weekend. Thank you so much. All righty. Miss the animation, I like that nickname. <laughs> yes. We got Jen Shaw. What's going on, girl? How are you, David? I'm good. I'm doing good, man. So, how about this event? Oh my gosh, isn't this like ballin'? I love it. I like, mean, JR he, knows how to put on a party. He knows how to put on a party. He exactly. does. He but does. He, this time, he got a DJ. I the know. He, he stepped it up, man. He did. Like, last time it was great and fabulous for the Crucible, and now for the Crescendo with this DJ. I walked in and I looked at him. He's like, You like loud music? I'm like, Yeah, but. Um, overload right now <laughs> it is sensory overload um so how's training going training now that i have moved back to spartanburg i moved back last month fantastic congrats i'm here at crash more often and it's going very well i feel like i'm home and it's a very good feeling awesome and your team oh we're doing so well i don't know where we're placed so i can't have anybody tell me because then my energy is disrupted but the girls are phenomenal liz 
And Amy and Lindsay, oh my gosh. I awesome. Just, it's a great, it's a great, great day. Awesome. How about your team for the uh, semifinals? Oh, that one. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. so we got that a crash team, team going yes. to semifinals. Yes, we are going. So yes. we are going to the Atlas Games. All right, fantastic. But we're not going to Atlas Games. It's an online event. Right, right, Some Canada. Some people don't know that, yes. Mm. So we get to do it in-house Father's Day weekend. Oh, okay, I'm cool. I'm very excited about that. Are y'all going to have spectators here for that? I haven't talked to the boss man. I kind of hope he does because selfishly I will go harder. People that I know yell at me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's talk about Crescendo. What's your favorite event for the uh, entire thing? Oh, the muscle-ups, the oh. ring muscle-ups. All right, so y'all already did that. We did, and it was, they felt really good. And then we went into the heavy lift. Yes. And I haven't tested it, so that feeling of going from – the muscle ups to the snatch. I said, "Oh gosh, what is this feeling?" I felt <laughs> numb. I think I, I, but I did hit a nice lift, so I was happy about it. Awesome, awesome. I watched it from back here. It looked good. <laughs> Thank you. And Amy's Thank looking you. stacked too. Yeah. I gotta oh, get her Amy. back here. Oh my gosh. She she's did. looking pretty ripped she right now. Is, she's phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. Phenomenal. Um, all right. Real quick, I know we had you on the podcast, what, a couple months ago, but where can people find you on the social medias? On social media, you can find me on Jen Schultz on the Instagram, on the Insta. Um, I don't post very often, but I'm right. going to try to get better about it, especially with semifinals coming up. And on Facebook, I'm under a pseudonym, Miata Schultz. Perfect, perfect. Yes. All right. Well, thanks for coming okay, on for a couple minutes. Good. Thank you for having me. All right, absolutely. Anytime. Appreciate we'll talk you. to you later. All right. All right, bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, we're going to take a break to thank our sponsors for today's episode. We're going to start off with CrossFit Greer. If you're living in the Greer area and are interested in getting started in CrossFit, go ahead and look up CrossFit Greer. Jen and Reagan Green are the owners there. If you mention the Apogee podcast to them, they will give you 10% off your first month's membership fees. I would also like to thank Blitz Belts and Chris Kane for their continued support of the show. So be sure to use their 15% off coupon code at checkout. That's Apogee, all caps. That gets you, the listener, 15% off at checkout at Blitz Belts on your custom order. I want to thank Goat Tape for being our new sponsor. Goat Tape has committed its brand to providing the best in athletic tape. They are the standard for CrossFit tape, scary sticky. Now they are providing the best in KT tape. So at checkout, be sure to get your 25% off your wholesale purchase. Use the coupon code Apogee at checkout. Finally, if you guys would like to become an invested friend of the show and are interested in supporting the show directly, go to anchor.fm slash Apogee Podcast and click on the support tab. We love bringing you guys awesome content each week, so be sure to subscribe to the podcast, drop a review, and let us know how we're doing. What's up, everybody, and welcome to day two of Crash Crescendo. My name is David Carter. We're going to be taking a look at some more athletes in the area, um, people who are competing, people who aren't competing. Um, they're going to head over. We're going to do quick interviews, talk to them a little, little bit about what gym they attend, um, their favorite workouts, what they're excited to see here today at the event, and a little bit more about their plans for the summer. Um, looking forward to bringing you much more content today. Let's do it. I pulled out of the crowd the beautiful Miss Tanya Wells. What's going on, girl? Uh, hey, thank you. Hey, you competing this weekend? I am. All right, awesome. How did day one turn out for you? Um, it was pretty good. Um, I think we got first in the first two um, workouts, and then um, I forget what we got in the third one. But awesome. overall, good start off to the weekend. Sweet. And which division are you competing in? We're doing novice. Great. Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So how long have you been doing CrossFit? Um, probably since 2013. 2013, so you're a veteran. <laughs> I'm a veteran, <laughs> but um, not everybody on my team is a veteran. No, no, I get that, I get that. Um, trust me, I've been doing it since forever, just like you, and I still do novice and intermediate. It's all good. Um, what's your favorite event for the day today that you're doing? Um, I I'm going to go with the, probably the most challenging one is probably going to be the slow pushes. So I feel like that's like grunt work. Yeah, so man. So I'm going to say that's going to be my favorite one. For sure. And who's your favorite athlete today that you're cheering for? Um, I'm going to go with Marcus Wells. MC hubby. Wells. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm excited to see you guys compete later this afternoon and keep it up and I'll catch up with you later. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. We are here with athlete Trey Confer. Bro, what's going on? What's up, man? Not much, dude. So, how did day one turn out for you? Uh, it, it was a, it was all a grind the whole day, but I pushed through. It, waiting around, we got a lot of rest time, so it went good. Good, man. What was your favorite event yesterday? Ooh. 
The GHD's and the wall balls. Yeah, buddy. I'm sure those abs are blown up today. They are blown up bad. Awesome. I was massaging them all night. Yeah, so what are you looking forward to today? Not the sandbags, no. but I, I am ready for the sled push. All right, cool. And where do you work out at? CrossFit Greer. CrossFit Greer. And I've heard through the grapevine that you've got a summer session going on for kids this summer. Is that yeah. correct? Yep. We're starting across Can you talk kids. a little bit about that? We're, cro we're starting that program in first week in June. Uh, hopefully the whole point is to get these kids involved in all the video games. Absolutely. Uh, so how many days a week is that going to be? It should be three days a week. All right, perfect. So you heard it. If you want your kids involved in CrossFit with some fun folks, who are you doing it with? Who's your co-teacher uh, co-coach? Ashley Kelly. All right, so Trey and Ashley will hook your kids up this summer do some CrossFit kids over at CrossFit Greer. All right, man. Well, good luck today, all right? Thanks, man. All right, buddy. Athlete Jacob Mosley on the podcast. What's up, bro? Nothing much. Just filling some of these workouts. Yeah, man. How are they going? How was yesterday for you? Yesterday felt good. Our team is uh, near the bottom in the RX, but, you know, we're doing good. We feel good. But definitely feeling some of the um, abs and grip strength now as we're getting into day two. A little bit of lactic acid buildup, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you eat for breakfast this morning? Uh, same thing I eat every morning. I don't change my routine. So eggs, waffles, peanut butter, orange juice, same thing. Good deal, good deal. So where are you working out at these days? I work out at Crash. I try coming about five days a week now, depending on work and family and other priorities I have in life. But yeah. And I've heard through the grapevine that you just started your own business. What, what's that in? Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so me and a partner, he also comes across Fit Crash. We started SBG Electric. Um, we've both been in electric for over 20 years together. So, you know, we've, we've got a lot of experience. I have my electrical engineering degree. and. He's got his electrical contractor's license, so we wanted to start our company, and by the grace of God, we were able to, and and our wife's supporting us, and we've been able to do pretty good so far our first two months. That's awesome, man. Where can people find you and your business on the social medias? So we're on Facebook at SDG Electric, and we're on Instagram. Um, we post, we try getting um, out there and getting our name out there best we can. It is um, a little difficult starting out. You know, you put on a lot of hats starting a company. There's things you didn't know, and then there's things you didn't know you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you've got a community behind you that's definitely going to support you and back you. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure anybody in the CrossFit community who hears this who needs electrical work will look Jacob up. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it, it's the community here alone has been great and then other gyms uh, we got a friend at um, SBL that he's really helped out um, yeah we do free quotes and we'll troubleshoot anything electrical residential commercial industrial no problem all right awesome so back to today's event what are you most looking forward to the rest of the day um, well I'm looking forward to the last workout because it has um, hand stand walks in it and I'm really good at those the legless rope climbs, I'm not looking forward to though, so All we'll right. see. Love hate relationship there. Alright, well we're looking forward to watching you out there, man. Alright, All thanks for coming on, appreciate it, and we'll catch up soon. I drag out of the crowd, Mr. David. David, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? Good to be here. Yeah, man. So tell me a little bit about what you're doing here at the event and how you're helping out with this event. Yeah, so uh, one of the members uh, at the gym uh, used to work out with us down in Panama City. And uh, he said the guy, JR, was looking to uh, get some more equipment, you know, bumpers and barbells and whatnot. So he reached out to us. Uh, we talked about it. We sent him some stuff. And then uh, he agreed to it. So we drove up here and uh, brought him some bumpers and some bars for his competition. Awesome. So your business is basically traveling around to these different competitions and they rent equipment from you and you set it up and Correct. tear it down. Yes, sir. And what's your business called? So we're called One More Athletics. One Way Athletics. How long have you been doing this? Uh, it's One More Athletics. Oh, uh, sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> uh, we, um, I've been a owner about three years. It's been in business for about seven. Okay. Uh, we started in the southeast, you know, Florida, Louisiana, uh, a little part of so southern Georgia. Uh, now we're grown. We come up here now. You know, it's into South Carolina. We do a Myrtle Beach, uh, Beach Town Throwdown uh, every year right now. Uh, for the foreseeable future uh, we're about to go to tennessee uh, set up a big comp up there so just that's awesome so what's the farthest that you've traveled to set up a competition 
uh, the company has gone as far as Indiana. Wow. So um, I've only gone as far as Myrtle Beach so far. Sure. That's um, awesome. So this keeps you pretty busy? It does. Um, Pre-COVID, you know, we were crushing it, you know. COVID shut everything down just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing, shipping. Uh, so products were coming in slower. Competitions weren't happening. So it was really slow uh, most of that year. But at the end, uh, we started, we got two in by the end of the year or so. And we got five this year. So hopefully everything, as everything opens up across, you know, the U.S., that we get to go where. You know, That's awesome. Everything, so. And how do you guys rotate through equipment? Like, do you guys use your equipment for a year and then sell it off and buy new? Or how does that work? Or do no. you guys hang on to it for a while? No, so uh, we guarantee a certain amount of everything for mm -hmm. our competition. Uh, so if our inventory is still good, we'll sell some post-competition. So generally, the items have been used just for that competition. Okay. So you're pretty much getting brand new stuff, a little bit of chalk on it, but nothing sure. crazy, right? Yeah. Um, and we'll sell it at a 10% discounted rate due to being used during the competition. And then they haul it off, saves them on shipping, uh, and they just get what they can. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. So have you been watching the competition at all this weekend? Yeah, we watched a little bit yesterday and today. All right. What was your favorite event yesterday? I like the uh, the one. I think it was the last one of the day. I can't remember the name, but it was you know each person waterfall style. The waterfall, yep. The you know, sprint. bike, yeah, the sprint, the bike, the row. I think I'm gonna try it next week. I was telling my buddy I'm, that when we get home, I was thinking I'm gonna try that. See if I can see how fast I can get through just one one round. I was thinking the same thing, but we'll see if I actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So where can people find you on the social medias? Uh, so we're at uh, onemoreathletics.com. We are at uh, for Instagram. It's at onemoreathleticspcb. And then Facebook is One More Athletics. All right, fantastic, guys. So follow these guys on the social medias, and hopefully we'll see them around in a lot more competitions. Yeah, awesome. Sounds good. All right, bro. Thanks for coming yeah, on. Thank you. We've got local comp in the house. Hey, hey. With Jen Green. What's up, girl? Not much. How are you? Good, man. How's the weekend treating you? It's good. It's yeah. real good. Yeah. Awesome. You guys are on point with all these scores. Yeah. Love yeah, we it. are. Trying to keep it, keep it up to date. Right yeah. as the event goes. Absolutely. So... What was your favorite event yesterday to watch? Um, the machines. The, the, sprint workout. the sprint workout. I think yeah. that's been the general favorite so far. Yeah. It was my favorite. I was talking to the last guy. I said, well, he said he was thinking about going back to his gym this week and attempting it. And I said, I thought the same thing. We'll see if I actually do it. <laughs> I, I kind of, like, watched them all do it and practice it. And I was just like, that looks fun. And then after watching it yesterday, I was like... It looks awesome, but I don't know if I want to do it. Exactly, exactly. So what are you looking forward to today in today's events? Um, I love the sled. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think the turf is awesome. You don't see it much in competition just because a lot of people don't have turf, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. Or it's outdoors, and, never, you know, grass can be kind of sticky. Yeah, grass or uneven pavement and stuff like that. For yeah. Sure. So talk to us a little bit about next weekend, the huge event in the upstate, fittest of the upstate. Oh. Yeah, so we're so excited for Fittest, um, getting everything ready and just kind of final touches and organiz organization for it, um, working with all the vendors and scoring and just everything. Now, we were talking to Gordon yesterday, and you guys have quite a few numbers and vendors. That's awesome. What's the total number again? Um, I think it's 22. Wow, that's yeah. huge. Yeah. So, y'all, when you come out to Fittest of the Upstate next week, that vendor village is going to be on point. Yes. Awesome, awesome. Um, also, huge news bringing CrossFit on, right? Officially CrossFit Inc. Yes. Talk a little bit about that. Um, yeah, so super excited. I know uh, Gordon put a lot of work into that and um, just building that relationship. And so now to be an actual, like, sponsored CrossFit event so we can say Fitness with Upstate presented by CrossFit um, or however we want to word it. Um, but we'll have their support. Um, and we already have their support now, so they'll be at our events. And we'll have an affiliate tent, CrossFit banners flying, and, and stuff like that. So. That's fantastic. We're looking forward to it. Uh, Apogee Podcast will be there live, too, so it's going to be really fun. Um, anything else you want to say? Hey, where can people find you on the social medias, Jen Green? Um, so it's at local comp on Instagram or green underscore Jen. Okay. And at Fittest of the Upstate. Yeah, I know you and Gordon kind of co-do that. All right, awesome, man. Well, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're welcome, and I will see you next weekend. Okay. All right, bye.
we have Asher Trappy, 11-year-old CrossFit athlete. What's up, buddy? Nothing much. Dude, thanks for coming on the podcast. Yeah. All right, so Asher, where do you work out at? I work out at CrossFit Greer. At CrossFit Greer. And how long have you been working out at CrossFit Greer? For four years. For four years. And who's brought you to CrossFit every single day? My mom. Your mom. That's awesome. I love seeing you and your mom work out together. It's really cool, right? Yeah. All right, so what's your favorite CrossFit movement up to up to now? The muscle up. The muscle up. That's pretty awesome, an 11-year-old being able to do a muscle up. How long have you been able to do that? Um, for a couple months now. All right, awesome. And I've seen through the social medias that you have your own personal coach. Is that correct? Yeah. Who's that? Mike McDonald. Mike McDonald. What are you and Mike been working on lately? We're working on lifting, but we haven't had a session in a little while. Okay, cool. I'm sure once some of these competitions get done, you guys will be back on the train. Yeah. So speaking of competition, I hear that you're entering your first competition. Is that correct? Second. Oh, your second competition. I did one two years ago. Okay, all right. So where's this one coming up? This one's in Daytona, Florida. In Daytona, Florida. Awesome. Did they release the events yet? They released two events, but there's three. Okay. And do you like what you see so far? Yeah. Fantastic. I've tried the first one. How'd it go? Good. Good, good. So if you had somebody in CrossFit, like an athlete that you really like or that you like to follow or he, you'd like to see win the CrossFit Games, who would that be? Not fully sure. You're not really sure? I saw the other day your mom post a picture with you and your two little brothers after you got done working out, and she tagged Scott Panchik, Spencer Panchik, and Saxon Panchik. Yeah. You guys like those guys? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's super cool to see you guys growing up in the gym and working out together just like they did growing up. So. Um, we're excited to see you grow up in the gym, and hopefully when you're 18, 17, 18, we see you out here in Crash Crescendo. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Okay, David. I'm not really sure I feel comfortable doing this without Harrison. Oh, no. I know. Me too. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I've got Sybil Crane and Katie Traffy here. Yes, so, sir. What's hey. up, dudes? Hey. It's been great. Yes. So we had Sybil on our podcast. What? How, what episode was that? That was... 14 or 15, somewhere around there. That was a while ago. It was a while ago, but it was a good one. The Fit Working Moms Roundtable. And Katie was supposed to be on that one, but she was out of town. Yes, always. What's up? Competing Uh every weekend. Love to compete. Yeah, so uh, girls, what gym do you guys work out at? CrossFit Greer. Same. And how long, Katie, have you been at CrossFit Greer? Um, About four years, ever since we moved to the area. And was that your first experience with CrossFit, or had you been doing CrossFit before that? Um, I did CrossFit, just dropped in at a gym in Massachusetts on Saturdays, and so that was just kind of dabbing with it. And then when I moved here, I went full-time. So what was your draw? Like, why did you want to get involved in CrossFit in the first place? Um, I love to exercise, probably um, just like the group fitness, uh, knowing what workout was set every day, because I go into a gym and look around and don't always know what to do so just like drawn up before me I'm good at tasks get them done right right and Sybil we know your story (laughs) how are those two boys treating you they're good we got the youngest Beckham finally sealed the deal with potty training fantastic yep Nate had uh, he had asked a few of the moms that he teaches with what the secret was we tried everything bribery we tried candy, money, food, toys, target trips. He knows the whole the whole bribery. Nate took his pants off one day, and he didn't want to poop in just open air, and he's been pooping in the potty ever since. <laughs> that did the trick, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, so you guys are on the same team for this event. Yeah. How did yesterday turn out for you guys? Awesome. I mean, we, we worked together good. There's a few things that we could have adjusted or to kept moving, but we, we really, we planned and we stick to our plan, and so it worked good. Great. And uh, yeah. so far today, what event are you looking forward to, or have you already completed the event you were looking forward to? The one we just did. Yeah. yeah it was just, too. you take it to your soul yes. and die. All yes. right, so that was the sled pushes, correct? Yeah, sled push and sandbag clean. 
Halloween, I guess you could say it was called. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Were you guys able to practice any of these events before coming here to this weekend? Yeah, we've dropped in to crash a couple times just to push the sled because it's totally different here versus anywhere else. So. Yeah, absolutely. So what do you guys think about this crash facility? It's amazing. Dream. Yeah, they do a great job. JR is well organized. I mean, yes. the time management is phenomenal. He's yeah. right on the minute. He's got the floor space to do and the equipment to do all this. And his staff, I mean, how amazing are they? They not only compete, but they're also volunteers and judges. I know. Like, they're doing double duty, and they're still killing it. Very impressive. All right, so any competitions coming up this summer for the two of you? To be determined. But Katie probably has every weekend planned. So. <laughs> what yeah. you got coming up, Katie? I like to fly by the seat of my pants. I hear you. Uh, next weekend is Fittest of the Upstate. So I have that Saturday and Sunday, and then uh, the weekend after that, I'm in Myrtle Beach for a beach town throwdown. Fantastic. I'm competing individual and then team the next day. So. Oh wow! All right, awesome. And then, yeah. Then All right. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you out at Fitness of the Upstate next weekend. She's gonna give you the ten other ones. Yeah, She's oh, there's. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Down. What else are you doing? No, uh, bacon beat down in June. So. Okay, fantastic. Sorry. You're fun. All right. Well. Uh, Anything else you guys want? Where can we find you on the social medias? Um, mine's KT Traff. K-T-T-R-A-F-F. I'm Bonzo Sibs. B-O-N-Z-O S-Y-B-S. All right. Fantastic, guys. Thanks for dropping Thank over, you. and we will Thank you very catch much. up with y'all Thanks, Apogee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here with the great and powerful and beautiful Miss Kayla Bell. <laughs> What's oh, up? Oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> How are you? Doing good. How about you? Doing good. Doing good. So spectating today yeah yeah it's weird to see you as a spectator i know i don't really like it but it's okay it's a little <laughs> different though it's fun to like look at all these athletes with admiration from the sidelines absolutely <laughs> <laughs> so today out of all these events that are going on right now which one would you be most excited to participate in uh, definitely the one last night with the max lift and the ring muscles Ab i think that looked awesome yeah for sure for sure so I've heard through the grapevine that you've been kind of nursing an injury. Talk a little bit about that and your recovery. Yeah, so let's see. Um, I guess three and a half, four months ago, I suffered a Liz Gronk injury. So I fractured my foot, tore two ligaments, um, was non-weight bearing and in a boot for about nine, ten weeks. So I've just been kind of, you know, regaining my strength and getting everything back from there. So hopefully be on the competition floor again soon. Fantastic. So how's training going now? It's good. Man, I have hit two PRs in my snatch in the last week. Um, so I guess giving yourself a little rest sometimes comes back as a good thing. So. Absolutely. So you're getting programming from a coach. Who's the yeah. coach? So Allison Stahl um, does my programming. And then I jump in a few mayhem athlete-wise, you know, at CrossFit Greer. So but most of my programming comes from Allison. Awesome. And how long have you been at CrossFit Greer? Man, since 2014. So, what is that? You're a veteran. Yeah, seven years. That's awesome. So, love it. That's awesome. Um, talk a little bit about bringing your son into the gym every single day. What's that been like for him and y'all's relationship growing up around fitness? Man, Nolan knows nothing but the gym. And sometimes I'm like, I feel kind of bad about that. But you know what? Like, it is rewarding when you see him and he wants to do everything you do. So the fact that we set a good example for him to just want to be healthy and fit, I think it's well worth it. But he's made so many friends that he's, I think he's the way he is because of the gym. So, Absolutely. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. So competitions for 2021, now that you're on the mend and you're in the up and up, what have you got planned? Um, as of right now, I just have Freedom Games on my radar, so me and Kara are going to be in a team for that, and that's all so far, but I'm sure there will be more fall announcements coming soon. For so. sure. Talk a little bit about the nutrition programming that you offer. Absolutely. So I work with a company called Forge by Food. Um, we work, we do macro counting mostly, but just really teaching people a way of life and eating and just being healthier. Um, so we focus on people from elite athletes all the way down to someone who's postpartum just wanting to get that body back that they've been wanting. So Awesome. Are you currently taking on any more clients? Um, man, I could, yes. Maybe <laughs> one or two, but it's, you know, that summertime comes around, everybody wants their beach vibe, so I'm pretty full, but I'm always willing to open more. All right, fantastic. Where can people find you on the social medias? 
So um, I am at Miss Kayla Bell um, for Instagram, and then I also have another one for my nutrition, which is FBF underscore nutrition coach underscore KB. All right, sweet. Well, thanks for swinging by the podcast table. We'll catch up soon. Sounds good. Thanks. What's up, guys? We are back on the podcast. We have got Raleigh Native, Nick Martin, episode number... 11? 11. That sounds right. Episode 11. What's going on, man? Not much, man. Just enjoying time here. I really like coming to this event every year. Yeah, dude. It's nice to have you back in the upstate. I'll tell you a funny story about the upstate. I, like... I thought the upstate was North Carolina. I had no idea what upstate actually meant. Really? Really. When did you figure it out? Because uh, I asked the dude that runs local comp. I was like, yo, can I come to this competition? He said, it's just for South Carolina people. I was like, what? Oh, for like fitness of the upstate? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going on next weekend. That should be a good one. So, Crescendo, team event. You did Crucible, which was individual. Mm -hmm. uh, the event's pretty similar as far as the stimulus. I think so. I mean, I like the the tester of the muscle ups and the, into the max lift. It definitely like I think that's what it was missing. The last event was like a real heavy piece, so it's yeah. kind of fun to get that sweet right in the beginning. So, out of all the events this weekend, which one were you looking forward to the most? I think the overhead squat, total bar, and thruster, total bar piece we did this morning. Yeah, sweet, sweet. So, tell us a little bit about how your business is doing. It's remind, going. Remind us what it was called again. Yeah, complete the process fitness, and uh, it's going great. I mean, we're reaching a lot of different people. You know, I, I love coaching CrossFitters, but general fitness in just wellness is something that I'm passionate about as well, and just getting a lot of people involved with that. So it's been great. That's awesome, man. So you got any more competitions planned for the summer? I do. So I'm doing a competition in Raleigh called Fittest Oak City Fittest, I guess, and uh, it's an individual competition on June 26th. And then I have another one in Durham, North Carolina on July 17th, which is a partner comp. Okay, sweet, sweet. So, Nick, how long have you been doing CrossFit? So, I started CrossFit the week before the Open in 2015. And uh, then we went to regionals in 2016 and 2017 on a team. That's great. Awesome. Did you uh, compete against JR in that? I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe. I think, think y'all would have been in the same region. Yeah. All right, and talk a little bit about this facility here. Yeah, like I said, I think this is one of the, the best gyms in the area. I mean, open space, the equipment is so nice, it's taken care of. All the people helping out, the volunteers, really like know what they're doing. It's well well run. I mean, we're hitting the exact time constraints that you know JR put on, so that's been awesome and really efficient, and it's just a great experience, great atmosphere. Awesome, dude. Well, it's great to have you back here again, guys. Um, I believe it was episode 11, Nick Martin. You can listen to almost a full hour of him talking. It's a great story. Um, where can people find you on the social medias? Yep, so my individual handle is at Nick underscore CTP Fitness. And then uh, my online coaching company is at Complete the Process Fitness. All right, brother. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, man. All right, y'all. We're back with Alex. Alex, where are you from, buddy? I am from... Uh just outside of Grand Rapids, Hudsonville, Michigan. Get out of here. That's yeah, where I'm from. Man. Small world. How we, how do we end up down here in South Carolina? No, that's what I'm going to ask you. So <laughs> where do you live right now? Right. I still live in Hudsonville. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So, so how did you get out here for the event? So I've got uh, I've got some friends that live down in uh, Charlotte or Fort Mill, South sure, Carolina, yeah. kind of in that Charlotte area. Yeah. And uh, they needed a fourth for the competition. And I've got, got some vacation to use, so I figured why not start it off with a, with a CrossFit competition. Dude, what a small world. I know, man. I know. I saw you walking around, and you're like, CrossFit Lake Effect. That's yeah. crazy, because yeah. that's where my wife and I first started working out. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Really? Right after we okay. got married, we started working out there with Paul, and that's when Danielle was there, and yeah, AJ, yeah, yeah, that yeah. whole crew. Yeah, man. It's so super fun. Um, so what, hold on, what year was that? Because I that started been, there in 2015. That would have been right before you then, okay. uh, 2014. I got you. Yep. Wow, so man. before that, I was at CrossFit Grand Rapids yep, yep, here yep, in yep. Wyoming. Yep. And then we got married, started at, we moved out to Hamilton, Yeah. right outside uh, yeah, of Holland. Yeah, so yeah, that was you. our gym, man. We That's were like awesome. 515ers every morning. Wow, okay, so you guys were the, we like to make fun of those people because they're like, you know, you wake up with just a little bit more of an edge if you can work out at 5.15 in the morning. It's funny, dude. I remember uh, doing the Open that year, 2014, and I'd be mm -hmm. like, all right, I'm doing pretty good at, in, you know, in this class. And then I see all these people from like 4 p.m. and 5 p.m., and I'm like, all right, maybe I'm not that yeah. good. <laughs> it, I get that, though. But it's, you know, that uh, – it's now a 5:30 class. Okay. They bought, they gave it 15 more minutes to go. sleep in, so you know that makes a difference. But it's still a we we have a lot of uh, 
it's like 34, I think 34 is the first like quote unquote masters year. I don't, sure. like, I don't like calling it a masters division, yeah. I guess, but there's a lot of, we had a lot of qualifiers um, for like the, the age group qualifiers. I mean, they all place like top 100, I think, and they all, most of them go, with the exception of one, they all go to that 5.30 a.m. class. I mean, they're just all fit, competitive people. Man. Is uh, Kelly it. Park still there? Oh, she, KP, she's <laughs> still there. That girl. She's killing it, man. <laughs> still going. I think, uh, were you there for Dan Zom- Was Dan there, Zomerly? I don't know if he was there at that okay. point or not. Okay. But, yeah, that gym is super competitive. I don't think I really realized how competitive that gym was until – I was going to other gyms down here, sure, and then. Sure. But I mean, it's pretty. It's right up there with Crash right here. This is one of the most competitive gyms. I mean, anybody could step in and compete mm-hmm. at this gym. I feel like right yeah, now. I'm, they've got a, an awesome setup here. This I was. Amazing. Well, I was talking to a, so my friends are at the CrossFit Pineville up in the North like Charlotte area. I guess it, I get confused because apparently there's like subdivisions that are split in state lines. Right. Up there, but, sure. Um, you know, this is this is probably one of the most well-run competitions I think I've been to. Everything is just dialed right in. You've got yeah. 10 to 15 minute heats, and you're just going. Everybody's checking in and rolling. It's really well done. This is an awesome space here too. Yeah, it's great. So you're competing. Um, what was the event that you were looking forward to the most? Ooh, I'd have to say it's a it's a it's a tie. I mean, they all are just pain cave kind of thing. Like you just, it's really gonna hurt. The one that I've had the most fun with, I'd say, is the one we just did, the sled push and the sandbag loads. Just because awesome. I love that kind of grunt work, just kind of grip it and go kind yep. of style. And then yep. the other, the, the one that's kind of tied with that we had a lot of fun with was the ring, was our first event, ring muscle ups and then the clean and jerk slash snatch. Awesome. Um, just, I, I mean, and also, I mean, the, the programming for this is just really, well-rounded it's well done i mean you feel beat up but it's not like you can't continue competing i know i've been in some competitions where you know you do two workouts and then you're done for the rest of the weekend it's not well balanced you're either quad dominant or you know a lot of pressing and it's just not it 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 hurts agreed i think uh you need to listen on your way home Mm -hmm. if you got obviously you'll have time about 12 hours give log on to the (laughs) apogee podcast and listen to episode 23 23 so jr the owner of this entire thing Mm -hmm. um, that's his episode and he talks about the mindfulness that he puts into the programming and how much detail he puts into it I think you'll glean a lot from it. It's yeah, yeah. super good. Well, now you tell me after we're already yeah. through the competition, Episode right? 23, 23. I'm on your way back. Right, you'll learn right. everything about Crash and JR. It's right. great. Awesome, um, Tell Paul I said what up. we Will do, man. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we are actually getting Danielle on the podcast for an episode, I think, this July. Are you? Uh, yeah. Well, tell her, uh, tell her I said hello. I will. Her, her and Alan, they're uh, they're good folks. I, yeah, I they're love them they were like, actually out here back in the fall for the Crucible, the Crash Crucible con- Oh, okay. Very cool. Very Crash. cool. So yeah. yeah, man, looking forward to watching Danielle yeah, at the I semis. She, pretty cool. She dominates, man. She's a. It's been cool to watch her. Cause I mean, obviously you saw her, but then like when I was there, she was starting. That was when AJ kind of made his push to go to regionals at the time, and yep. Danielle was making the same push. It was. Their work ethic is just it, it's inspiring to say the least. That's it, for sure. So. Funny story, real quick before yeah, I let yeah, you go. Yeah, it's yeah. funny because, all right, so I started there in 2014. Might have been the end of 2013, actually. Mm-hmm. And AJ had just started really uh, becoming cross. I don't even think he was a CrossFit coach there yet, so he was right. still a newbie. Right. First it's time still I still in college, like he's right. a sophomore yeah. in college at this point. Right. right. Yeah. So the first time I ever worked out with him, he was wearing a matching and one top with the and one I shorts from I like love Walmart. It. Yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and now he's sponsored by all Bear Complex and all oh, these guys. Yeah. He's he's up but, in Minnesota now, man. I don't know if yeah. you keep track of oh, him. Oh yeah, not, so I'm gonna reach out to him and try to get him on the podcast. Oh, see, but sure. it's just so funny to see where he came from, a little chubby. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and now he's just freaking a monster. monster. Oh yeah. So man. I'm excited yeah. to see him over at Granite Games again. Yeah, too. it's gonna be good. That's a fun event too. Yeah. I did that with him in twenty seventeen. Oh, okay. That was a good that was that one was a fun event too. You didn't it, go to Grand Valley, did you? No, no, no. I went to college out in Maine. So oh, okay. it, I, but I met, like I said, I came back home. Gotcha. 2015. That's when we all kind of met up and Sweet. started just training together. All so right, brother. Well, it's I been appreciate It's been a pleasure meeting dude, you, man. I appreciate you stopping world. by. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully we can catch up in the future at some more events. Yeah, I hope so, man. All right, it's been man. good to meet you. Take it easy. Thank you. All right, guys. We did it. We finished it up. We've got the last interview of the weekend. We've got the mastermind himself back on the podcast, JR. What's up, dude? How's it going, everybody? Good. Are you happy with how everything turned out? I am. Yeah, everything uh, 
went as smoothly as I think it could have. I obviously am very critical, so I've got some things that hopefully we can clean up for October for the next comp. Uh, but all in all, great feedback from the athletes, from the judges, from the spectators. Successful weekend. Awesome. No regrets on any of the programming this time around? No. This time around was way smoother. Um, not a lot of subjectivity at all, which is kind of what you need in any big comp. And you got that Tia Claire Toomey, Cara Saunders finish that you were hoping for, so that was pretty <laughs> awesome. That was really, really cool. And both teams kind of um, went to failure and knew that they went to failure, and there was no arguing. They just had to go back and do it again. So it was like the perfect uh, way to finish it. Absolutely. Well, hello, David. Kevin. <laughs> I've missed you all weekend, dude. I've missed you too, my friend. You were killing it out there, though, man. You were hustling back and forth. It looks so professional out there with all the lights. Well, thank you very much. I don't think you could have done a better job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Absolutely. I, uh, I, it dawned on me earlier today when we were doing a sled push. I felt like I was playing uh, real-life Frogger, <laughs> having to dodge all the sled pushes and everything. Absolutely. Uh, no, JR, you put on an amazing show, amazing event again. Um, it's just what, what, what is the next thing for this? I mean, what do you – what do you envision for October? So, tentatively, the plan for October is going to be to focus it on the individuals mm -hmm. instead of trying to do a huge team comp and a huge individual comp. Try to focus May primarily for individuals, uh, lead individuals, and for right now, the plan is to do male, male, female, female teams only, elite teams. In October? So in October. Okay. Yeah. So, maybe just the teams that you'll see – uh, on the live feeds coming up here in the next month or so doing semifinal events and right. possibly doing game events. Trying to get them to come for an off-season training comp would be great. Uh, the other thing I have in mind is uh, trying to do something for the community on Saturday morning of the three-day comp where we do, you know, open registration, event bright style. I only have 100 slots. There's four workouts, gauntlet style, one hour. Um, register for 20 bucks to win, you know, a thousand. Something that's amazing. Like that. That's a, that's that's that'll be huge. Just to get a bunch of people in the door, have the individuals come in around noon or one to start their day, yeah. and that way the gym's already packed. There's already a good vibe, and people will stay and hang out and watch and still get a workout in. All right, man. Well, um, real quick, once again, where can the people find you on the SoCal Mids? Uh, so I'm not super active on Facebook, but um, Crash uh, Facebook page. You can message me there. But I'm very active as the Instagram feed that is Crash Fitness. So you have underscore Crash underscore Fitness. That is my personal Instagram account and also the gyms. All right. Awesome, man. Well, y'all heard it here. Apogee Fitness Podcast. Mm -hmm.